Life is a vicious circle. Okay, I'm back. Welcome to my channel. Okay, let's talk about what I did for the last two weeks when I didn't post. A mental breakdown. Yes, a mental breakdown. That's exactly what happened. I think I'm just getting to a point where I'm realizing this is never going to get better. Ireland has like 600, 700 cases a day. I think the least amount of cases I've seen a day was like 360. 360. There's only 5 million people in this country, like. And I think I'm now just realizing that every single day is the same. The only exciting thing that happens to me every week is that I don't have to wake up for college on Friday and I see my boyfriend on Saturdays. So I've kind of just been sitting in bed every single week. I've had a few assignments, so I've just been like sitting and doing those. But then when I'm done those, I have, mm, I'm like not inspired at all. Have no ideas, have nothing to do, have nothing to film because I have nothing to do. And I just feel like I'm gonna crack. You know what, I'm gonna make an iced coffee. It might make me feel better. feel a bit better now. Iced coffee truly does take the pain away. So what I've decided to do today is to show you how I get ready for my Instagram pictures and how I take my Instagram pictures when I have nobody else to take them. Like, I am 19 years old. It is Friday. I should be mouldy already. It's... Yes, it's half two. I'm a college student. I should be drunk right now, but I'm not. I could get drunk by myself. No. So basically, this video is all over the place. I'm so sorry. I'm just not mentally right here right now. I was gifted a load of new makeup recently, so I'm going to try all those out and give my first impressions on them. I've kind of changed up my makeup routine a bit as well, so I'll show you how I do things a little differently. Spice things up. We're gonna move on to makeup and I'm really excited to try all these new products out. I was gifted some stuff from Urban Decay, uh, we've got Carter Beauty in here, um, Maybelline, L'Oreal Mascara, some some other full bits and I'm really really excited to try them all and I'm going to show you how I make myself look snatched. First I'm just going to hydrate my face, you know how it is, I use a 3-in-1 hyaluronic skin acid and the ordinary hyaluronic acid. So the first new thing I'm going to be trying is the Carter Beauty Hold Tight Per- Did you hear what just came out of my mouth? Perfecting Performance Primer. From the bottle, it looks like it's gonna be like a matte primer, so we're gonna try it out. Oh wow, oh okay. This feels really like the um, the Benefit Professional. It feels very much like that, except it's a lot more moisturizing. So I haven't been gifted any foundations or anything, obviously because they don't know my foundation shade so they can't give me things like that unless they like ask me first. So considering that that feels like it's going to be a bit more of a mattifying primer I'm going to mix the Fenty Beauty with a tiny bit of this because this is a very much dewy kind of look and this is like a soft matte so I kind of want like an in-between of that. If anyone is wondering about shades, um, I have um, the St. Moritz Dark and Dark Tan on right now and this foundation, the Fenty Beauty one in shade, what shade is this? 240 works really well with tan and if you're getting the LA Girl Pro Coverage, which I really would recommend, this is the best foundation I've ever bought, it's like 11 euro and um, I got this one in shade natural and that goes perfect with like all tans. Okay, so this is the foundation and the primer on and I quite like it. It's very, very matte and this foundation wouldn't usually be as matte so that primer is definitely a mattifying primer. But like, girls, I have no pores. Where are my pores? They've disappeared. Okay, I really like this primer. I very much like this primer. 
This isn't anything new, I use this all the time. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, you know how it is. Best concealer on the market. I'm gonna kind of conceal the way Madison Beer does it because she's just hot. So the way I'm like concealing my face now is like the way models do their concealer and stuff. Basically, instead of like putting loads of concealer like under your eyes, you're supposed to only put it in the corners and up here so it lifts your face. Because if you put loads of high, like lighter shade here, it's obviously gonna bring your face down and you won't look as like snatched. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, unreal, love it. So to contour, I like to use the L'Oreal Paris Perfect Match Concealer in shade Caramel Toffee. And when I put this on, it's gonna look really, really dark, but it blends out so nicely. It's such a nice shade of brown. I like to put it up like very high, because when you blend it, then it goes down. So like this is gonna be like Okay, I'm gonna zoom in for this part. Okay, so for brows, I actually haven't used this in a while. I'm going back in with my Benefit Goof Proof Pencil, and we're gonna try and make these look as thick and as fluffy as possible. Don't really know how that's gonna work out. So we're drawing on little hairs. I'm gonna slightly extend it above my brow. So like, it looks like I have like little extra hairs up there. You see, you see what I mean? Okay, they do not look the same, but are all like. Oh. So I'm gonna go back and do a thing that I used to do a lot, and I just haven't really done it recently, which is putting powder on my brows. So I used to do this all the time. I just take this Mac palette. I got this like I think I was 14 when I got this, and I use the brown in the middle of it. Like that's the only shade I use because the rest of them are like pretty shit. And I just put that on the top of everything just to make. It looked like I actually have hairs, so like that the hairs I've drawn on look like hairs, you know. Oh my god, is it raining again? It was literally sunny two seconds ago. Like look at that. It was sunny two seconds ago. This again is not a new product. This is the Pixie Natural Brow Duo, and I'm just gonna use the gel side of it. Okay, moving on to the eyes. We're not gonna do anything like dramatic, just something quite smoky and uplifting. So to start, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This was gifted to me. I've used it like once on my mother and my mother has extremely oily eyelids and she has very hooded eyelids. So like she can't really wear eyeshadow. Like usually I'll just put like a little bit of brown smoked up on the outside just to make her eyes look a little bit more defined. But when I put this on her, it actually worked. So I'm gonna try it on myself today. I have very regular eyelids. They're not really hooded. Do have a few creases in here. So hopefully this will stop um, any product from creasing. I don't really know how to use this. I'm just gonna put it on and blend it and assume that's how you use it. So I've recently been gifted these two eyeshadow palettes. So this is the Naked Urban Decay Wild West eyeshadow palette and they only came out with this like two weeks ago and I was one of the first people to get it and oh my days I love all the colors in here I used to have like all the old Urban Decay palettes and obviously I just like hit pan and I haven't bought them since oh my God, it's literally lashing then I got the Carter Beauty smooth nude palette and it's literally full of all these gorgeous nudes I haven't even swatched any of this but like it's such a good range of like nudes and it has like kind of pinky nudes and orangey and like I'm really liking this palette and so I'm gonna mix like a few of these shades and try them out. Um, okay so to start off we're gonna start with Disrobed here it's just like a very like light kind of orangey transition shade and then from there I'm gonna go into Ghost Town in the Urban Decay palette because that looks like it'll go well and then I'll just deepen it a little bit with some browns. I remember I got my makeup done by a makeup artist in town once when I was like 15 and um, she was like, you need to use more oranges. Your eyes are so green, the orange will make it pop. So I've been doing that ever since. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so I've just put that lightly up here and here and it's a really, really nice transition shade. I don't know if it's coming up on the camera properly, but I really like that. Very minimal fallout. It's not like extremely pigmented, but you don't really want a shade like that to be extremely pigmented. So again, we're going into shade Ghost Town from the Urban Decay palette. Now this is so pigmented, so I'm taking very little. And I'm gonna put that in the crease part and then smoke it out like this. So I'm gonna giving it kind of a wing shape and then blowing it out. So this is looking very good so far, I think. Or maybe I'm just like really ugly and I'm in denial. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the dark brown in this one because this shade seems to transition to that one a bit better. So we're gonna take this brush. This is the BH Cosmetics brush number eight from the set I got off Beauty Bay. Okay, so as you can see, we have a very smoky, uplifting, I am Gigi Hadid eye makeup look. Then to finish off, just getting this flat brush against BH Cosmetics brush number six. And I think I'm gonna take Flirt from the Cardi Beauty palette. And we're just gonna like pat that in on the inner corners. It's basically just a lazy cut crease. Also, the Urban Decay, the eyeshadow primer, definitely makes a huge difference in like the color. Definitely makes it stick a lot more, a lot less falls out, and I have no creases, so that's good. So for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Milani Dolce. This is not a new thing, I bought this, absolutely unreal. It's, it's such an inexpensive brand and their, all their stuff is so good. I don't really contour my nose too heavily, so all I usually do is just take the bronzer that I'm using, and this fluffy brush, and I just go, around the sides. So for blush, I'm going to use the Beauty Bay Bitten Blush, and this is like a very kind of like mauve shade, I don't know. Taking this brush, this is again BH uh, brush number two. And just a little bit on my brush and very, very high up on the cheeks, like basically where you put your contour or your highlight. Again, this wasn't gifted, I bought this. Okay, so now we are gonna try this highlight and this is shade Hearts. It's kind of like, it looks like it's gonna be a soft highlight and it's kind of like a champagne shade. It's very subtle. Oh, it's quite nice though. Oh, I quite like that. Oh, wow. Oh, I really like that. I quite like that. That highlighting brush I use is from Penny's. It's really old and this one is Real Techniques Compact Fan Brush. Oh, I really like that. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love this. So I'm just gonna set my face before I put any mascara or eyelashes or anything on. Again, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter, was gifted to me. I used to have this though. I bought this a couple of years ago and um, when it first came out and I loved it. And I think they've changed the formula a bit. And um, so we're gonna test it out. It smells gorgeous. Like, I don't know what that smell is, but wow, what is that? Well, it's literally getting sunny again. What, like what? There was literally a storm two seconds ago. What is going on? So before I put on any mascara, obviously I'm just gonna curl the lashes. We're gonna use one of the either, I think I might use the Colossal Maybelline one. Haven't tried this because I haven't tried any of the Maybelline stuff I was gifted. Ooh, I love that. Love a chunky wand. Love a chunky wand. So I definitely give that mascara like a s eight out of 10 because it doesn't give like much length, but it's just really, really fluffy and nice. And Cardi Beauty also sent me two pairs of lashes. These are their wispy ones, and these are the Leo ones. And I think I'm gonna try the Leo ones. They're very like dark and dramatic, very wispy. Okay, how much I struggled to put on these lashes has nothing to do with the Carter Beauty. Um, that's just me being an idiot. But they're really, really gorgeous and wispy. I really, I really enjoy these lashes very much so. so. Then for my lips, I'm just gonna put on this PS Lip Liner Pencil in Foxy Nude. And this is the Mora, or the Inglot X Mora um, Gloss in Shade Brown Sugar. Um, 
everyone, this is the final makeup look. I am going to straighten my hair right now. My dad is talking really loudly on the phone outside of my bedroom door. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to blow dry it and straighten it and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have straightened my hair and the weather has decided to be bipolar again. It is scorching, like, it, what? Not, not that I'm complaining at all. We love the sun, sun takes good Instagram photos. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. First, I'm gonna put on a better outfit than this because I look fresh out of jail. Okay, so this is the fit we have gone for. These are from Opali, they're unreal, they're kind of like pleather. Boots are from Boohoo. This is from Sheen, top is from Sheen, this is from Penny's. This is from Wish, actually. So I'm gonna, I've am i decided I'm gonna take advantage of the light coming through my window first. I'm gonna take some photos here. You've all seen me use my clicker before, so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. windy outside and my camera is literally about to die but I'm gonna show you how I take pictures outside again tripod is just here and clicker in hand and I'm gonna do my best to film as much as I can this video I have loads more videos planned some kind of different kind of funnier ones coming up that I want to do so if you really enjoyed this video I'm actually so out of breath just from running up the fucking stairs <sighs> if you really enjoyed this please subscribe drop a like leave a comment of what other stuff you'd like to see in the future and let me know what you thought of this video I love you all so much